What's up, guys? Well, I uh, got my uh, cooler back from a new egg. So let's open this up and uh, see if uh, this one decides to work. Hey, they actually used packaging peanuts this time. Amazing. Packaging slip. Make sure everything's in here and it doesn't look damaged. Alright, well we got the stop sign thing again, we got all the instructions. Alright. Alright, that all seems to be in order and it looks like all the brackets are in order, so... Let's go grab the computer and put this in. All right, now before I start, this is not good for overclocking. So if you plan to do any serious overclocking with a Phenom processor, especially a quad core, uh, definitely upgrade your uh, cooler. Okay, so now we're going to uh, get to installing this thing. Figured I'd just uh, record myself doing it. So, pretty much first things first is you want to put these little double sided pieces of uh, tape on. There we go. And that's just to hold this in place. There we go. Now it won't move around while we're trying to put the bracket in. And then all you gotta do is put these little silver studs in which is not hard at all pretty much the whole install of this cooler was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be now where did that last one get to? ah there it is There we go. Now, I've already put the uh, little pegs in here. You gotta make sure you get the, you install the right ones for your setup. And then after that, it's easy. I always like to get these just barely about to come through before I even put the bracket on that way you don't have to fight with it And we only want to get this barely holding on. There 
There we go. It's actually a little too tight. Just back them out a tiny bit. Yeah, that's too loose. There we go. Now, to uh, install the motherboard back in the uh, case and uh, install the uh, radiator and fans and whatnot. So, let's do that. Okay, so now we're installing the fan here. What I like to do is install two screws in here. That way it's easier to uh, screw the radiator here in. Because otherwise you're going to be sitting there fighting with it. And nobody wants to do that. Here we go. Screw that in just a little tiny bit. go not too tight here we go and then use the other two screws to install the other thing If I can get the camera at a good angle here, where it won't fall down into the computer, preferably. There we go. And then just tighten them down. There we go. Now we have push pull configuration. So now we can move on to installing the base. Okay, so now we've uh, got the radiator in and I have stripped off all of the uh, thermal compound that comes on this because I'm going to be using some Tunig TX3. See how this stuff works. Usually I use Arctic Silver 5, but people have been telling me this is way better. It's just kind of difficult to spread, so we'll see. So now I'm going to put that on the CPU and uh, get this block installed. Okay, well, I got the cooler installed. And uh, ran into a little trouble with it. It would The bracket was being really annoying. Didn't happen to me the first time, first time with smooth installation. Don't know what's going on this time, but got it on there. I do not like that thermal paste at all, though. It is way too hard to spread. So, if I ever have to take this thing back off again, and if I get bad temps, it's probably because I didn't spread it properly, because it's nearly impossible to spread. So I just try the old-fashioned method of not spreading it over the whole CPU and just putting a dab in the middle. And hoping that it uh, spreads out enough to uh, cool the processor properly. And if it doesn't, I'm just going to take this thing back off and uh, order me up some uh, Arctic Silver 5. 